You can also use this, as I said, to keep the kids back here or if you want to have them out on the party patty area. campers it is savannah with cookville rv and marine and today we're going to take an inside and outside look at this 2023 grand design momentum 395 ms but before we get started make sure you like this video subscribe to our channel and click that bell notification so you're notified when we post a new video and if you're feeling a little fun a little crazy and you want to head on over to our google reviews leave a five star review mention my name and i would be so so happy now let's get started starting out on our outdoor entertainment side this is a massive camper you guys so we have a lot going on over here we actually have three awnings one right above me one on this slide and one over on the other side of that slide you also have LED strips under all of those and you have a couple of extra little ones over our two entryway doors we also have some indoor outdoor speakers out here so if you're out here partying hanging out with your family and you want to listen to some music you can easily listen to music inside and outside and we actually have something really cool so let's step over here here and look at it on our one side over here we actually do have a tv so this is the perfect area to sit out here relax if it's football time you can easily throw the game on this tv hang out here grill some hot dogs do whatever have a really fun time and you can actually see on our slide right here we do have frameless windows on this momentum i love frameless windows kind of just looks a little aesthetically pleasing very cool just a nice little touch out here now Let's check out our storage. On our entry side, we do have this storage space right here. This is perfect to put all of your hoses in. We also have our road vac system in here and your battery disconnect. You also have a light. And on the other side, we have our auto leveling system and you have your convenience bay with all the hookups you're gonna need while you're at the campground. Now, let's head inside. When you first walk in over on your left hand side, we do have our touchscreen control panel. This is where you're gonna control your lighting, all of your slides, your HVAC system, all of that is right here. And it is super user friendly. Everything is labeled so you can figure it out, no problem. Now, let's step into our kitchen and check it out. Starting out in our kitchen, we do have tons of cabinet space. You can see just how large this is. You have multiple shelves in there, so you can kind of use this as a catch-all area because it is close to your entryway door. We also have space over here, perfect for your pots and pans, glasses, cups, anything you really need to keep stored away in your kitchen. In the center of this, we do have a very nice microwave. And under that, we have our four burner stove top. This is a very nice stove. It is a gas stove, just looks super clean and pretty in here. We also have lots of countertop space on both sides and you do have electrical outlets on both sides as well. So if you do wanna plug in a coffee maker, maybe a blender, so it's right here in your kitchen, you do have that. And I just wanted to show you guys how pretty this backsplash is. It's super nice and it just adds a little oomph to the kitchen which I love. We have more storage down below. You have a great place to put maybe a small little trash can, or if you wanna put some pots and pans in there, you do have that room. Right here is our oven. This is a very nice size oven, you guys. You don't see a lot of big ovens, but this one is truly really good size. Moving on over here, you can see this massive fridge. This is super nice, probably one of the prettiest I've seen so far. You have lots of space in here for all of your groceries, and down below, you do have a massive freezer as well. So that opens up and you have a couple of different drawers in here. So if you wanna put some frozen food or maybe some popsicles for the grandkids, you have lots of space. Over here, we have another cabinet space and look at that, you have plenty of drawers in there and they do move out. This is a great place to put all of your snacks and different items in there. We have lots of countertop space over here. I like that this is kind of an L shape in here. You have lots of space to move around, cook. If you want kind of like a buffet style dinner, you can set everything up over here. And you have an electrical outlet right here for your phone charger, or if you wanna add another little blender over here, you can do that. We have three drawers right here to store all of your silverware. And under our sink, we do have even more storage. Great to put a garbage can or all of your cleaning supplies. And they've actually, giving you your very own garbage can so you don't have to worry about that and up here i did mention the sink but i'll let you guys see it you do have this removable cover over your sink it is a dual sided sink so you can have dirty dishes in one side and then your clean ones in the other and you have a retractable sink nozzle as well now let's move over here and check out your dining room right across from your kitchen is your dinette and this is honestly a very nice size dinette you have tons of elbow room and you even have this little extension right here so this does move down and when you're pulling in that kitchen slide, you do wanna make sure this is down so you don't bump this table. But we have lots of huge windows in here so you're gonna see all those gorgeous campground views while you're eating. And moving on over here, we do have a gorgeous theater seating option right here. Super comfy, great place to sit and watch the game.
same. You also have cup holders on both sides and you can see there's a couple buttons. You have a light switch, a back massage, back massage switch, and you also have a heat setting. So if it's kind of colder winter month and you want to warm these seats up, you can easily press that. And these actually do recline as well. We get that question quite a bit and you don't have to worry about bumping this window behind you because this is made specifically for campers. So it's not going to move or hit that window. You don't have to worry about that. But probably my favorite part of this momentum is our living room space. So let's move over here and check it out. In our living area, we have this gorgeous L shaped sectional. This is so comfy you guys. I'm sitting right here and I could honestly just take a nap in here. It is very, very comfortable. You have lots of seating area for all of your guests. And on this side, you actually do have some controls. So you do have that back massage setting, that heat setting and a light setting over there as well. This is super nice to have in your living room. But one thing to note when you do move these slides in, you are going to have to move this section right here. It's super easy. I did it by myself before we started this video. You just move these seats up and kind of sit them back there in your toy hauler space. But we'll show that to you guys later. But this is super easy to use, but you don't want to crunch it in your slides. So just take that note. But let's switch views and check out our TV. On the other side of the couch, we do have our entertainment space. We have this massive TV and it is on a swivel so you can move it to see it from different spots of the camper. We also have lots of storage up here. You have storage on both sides of this and this opens up and you can see just how nice this area is. You can throw some puzzles up there, some games, different items. And over here, we do have our indoor outdoor speaker system. So that's where you're going to control your outdoor music. And down below, we do have a little bit more storage on either Either sides of our fireplace and like I said we have a gorgeous fireplace in here this works as a heat setting or if it's just kind of dark in here and you want to use it as a light you can use it for that too and one more thing about our living room space we do have an extra bed in here this actually is a bunk so if you have lots of visitors at the campground you need an extra place to sleep throw them up here in this bunk it's super nice and comfortable and they have given you a ladder so you easily just attach that right here and they can crawl up there no problem now Let's check out the toy hauler area. In the very back of your momentum, we do have our 14 foot garage with triple insulated floors. Back here, we do have multiple tie downs. So if you have a go-kart, golf cart, motorcycle, any small little vehicle that you do want to fit back here, you can easily tie that down. So it's not rolling around when you go down the road. We have lots of space to move around back here. You have an extra door to the outside. And this up here actually comes down into a a sitting area. This is the perfect place to sit back here, relax, watch a movie because you do have a TV. Or if you want to use this as a dining area, it does come with a table and you can easily set it down and eat dinner as a family. But this room actually works as another multi-purpose area. But before we show you that, we do want to check out the best part of the toy hauler space, which is the party patio. On the very back is what we like to call the party patio. This is a great area to hang out with all of your friends. You're outside. It's warm and cookable today. I love sitting back here on our patio area. You can easily pull some seats back here. And the great thing about this, you do kind of have a fence area going all the way around. So if you have some dogs, some small kids or anything like that, and you don't want them running off of this, they're going to be nice and contained. So if y'all are out fishing right beside of the camper and you want to keep the kids back here, this is a nice little area for them. This actually is your ramp. So this goes all the way down and this is how you wheel your vehicles into the toy hauler area. But when you're not using that, you have your party patio. And let's switch views and check out some more features of this thing. So if you want to use a toy hauler space as kind of a sunroom area, we do have these doors back here. These easily slide open and they are screened in. So you don't kind of have any bugs going inside. They're going to stay all outside. Or if you kind of just want a nice little cool breeze inside, it works for that too. These do close like this, or you can actually use them as a door and they open up. Also back here, we do have an awning. So that little area I showed you in here with all the switches, that is where you're going to control your awning. And you actually do have an LED strip up here as well. So if it's not time and you need a little light out here, you can easily press that and it is super bright. Now, check out the rest. A bunk area for the kids. We do have this massive bunk up here and our couches down on the bottom have been rolled over into another sleeping space. So if you have a bunch of grandkids or you just have some extra visitors at the campground, they're going to have tons of places to sleep back here. And Grand Design has thrown in a couple of ladders so you can easily set that up here 
so they can get into the bunk very easily. Now, let's switch the view and check out this side. On this side of our garage area, we do have a dinner spot for your dogs. So this is pushed up right now, but you can easily pull this down and you do have dog water bowls for your animals. We also do have some storage up here. This is a nice storage spot for all of your extra blankets, bags, anything you really need back here. We also do have a TV. And then coming over here, we have a washer dryer hookup. So if you do wanna add a washer and dryer back here, you can easily plug that in. And over here by our main entryway, we do have our switches. This is where you're gonna control those back awnings and your bed and couches over here and all of your lights. And actually one cool thing about this area, they have given you this spot right here. So you can add a backup camera to this or this spot right here, you can add another camera, which we can actually do here at Cookville RV and Marine for you for an extra cost, of course. But you can add another camera in here. So when you're going down the road, you can watch your items back here. If you have a golf cart or other things and you wanna keep an eye on them, you can easily install that and see them. And we have one more surprise for you. So let's move over here and check it out. The kids have their very own bathroom space right in the garage. We do have our step to flush toilet, a sink. They even do have a window so they can still see those gorgeous campground views or they have a mirror if they need to get ready. Now let's check out that hallway bathroom. In the hallway we have our walkthrough bathroom and over on this side we have our mirror front medicine cabinet. Perfect area for you to put all of your toiletries in. Underneath that we do have our sink with a good amount of countertop space and an electrical outlet for all your hair styling tools. Underneath that we do have some storage. You have lots of space in here for a trash can or to just stack up all your toilet paper. On the other side, we do have our step to flush toilet and right beside me to my right is our shower. So let's check it out. In the shower, you have this very sturdy wooden seat and this is a super deep shower. So your water isn't going to be splashing out anywhere. We also have a couple shower heads in here. You actually have four and you do have a detachable shower head as well. And they've given you a couple of shelves off to the side for your soaps, shampoos, conditioners, and you even have a skylight in here. So if you like that natural lighting, you do have that. That. And over to our side, this is actually part of our closet, but I'll go ahead and show it to you guys right now. It's kind of a little vanity area. If you did want to set a mirror in here to do your makeup, or if you want to add maybe a picture frame over here, a vase, you do have that little countertop right there. And we have some storage underneath. You do have three really nice size drawers. So you can kind of throw some clothes in there. If you want to keep your pajamas right here so you can get them while you're in the bathroom, you do have that. And you actually do have some more storage right here. This is a perfect place to put your jewelry, different stuff in. And there's actually a mirror in here. I didn't know that, but that is perfect for this vanity area. Now, let's check out your bedroom. In the very front of your momentum, you do have your private bedroom. In here, we actually did opt to go with the queen size bed, but you can switch this out for a king if you like. Up here, we do have lots of storage space. So if you wanna put maybe your CPAP machine up there for some storage, or you wanna put some clothes, different items, extra sheets, you do have lots of room for that. On both sides of our bed, we do have a nice little countertop with some storage underneath that as well. You have lots of space to put your reading glasses, maybe a glass of water, a book, and you actually do have electrical outlets on both sides and you have two USB ports so you can plug in your iPad and your phone before you go to bed. We also have lots more closet space over to the right. These are all mirror front closet space, but I'll open this up and show you guys. You have a nice hanging bar in there so you can hang up all of your nice clothes and you have two sets of drawers under each of these little mirrors so you have lots of space for all your clothes. If you're interested in this momentum or any other unit in our grand design line, make sure you give us a call or a text or visit us online at cookvillerv.com where your adventure awaits.